So, <laughs> my shirt doesn't want to cooperate with me today. Or it's a little chemo, camo, whatever this thing is called. Kimono. I think that's what it's called. Whatever. That's not why you clicked on the thumbnail, though. You clicked on the thumbnail because you want to know how to make this awesome sign. So, keep on watching. and the notification bell so you'll always be up to date with my latest tutorials. So in this video today, um, literally this DIY is super easy to do. It is very, 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 very budget friendly. I honestly think you guys are gonna love this. Um, you can make this for any season, whatever saying, whatever paper you wanna use, the possibilities are endless. So with that being said, let's get into the DIY. All right, so the first step is just taking um, a plain piece of computer paper and cutting down your scrapbook paper to that exact size. Um, I'm using my paper cutter to do this, but you can use your scissors and I will also have this paper cutter linked down below if you're interested in it. All right, so let's talk about this printables. So the printables I made off of Canva, you know I love to use Canva, I use it all the time. So I created these printables and they're gonna be free for you to use and I'm gonna have all the different styles um, link down below so you can choose whatever if not you can make your own on Canva I'll leave their site information down below as well and then you can print these out at home on your computer on your computer <laughs> on your printer and this printer is an inkjet printer so you can use inkjet laser whatever you use it's still gonna work the same Okay, so this is what it looks like after you have printed this out on your piece of paper. So because of the type of paper I used, the ink didn't adhere to it. So I'm just going to use my painter's pen and I am going to trace over it. And honestly, I liked the look of this better than just having it looking like I printed on my scrap paper. So now I'm going to take these paint sticks that I got from Lowe's for 98 cents, literally you get 10 of them, and we're going to take these outside. I'm just using two, and I'm going to stain them with my wood stain, which I'm using Briar Smoke, and this is just going to frame the top and the bottom of our sign. Now I'm just going to take this to my miter saw, and I'm going to cut off those little curved edges that you see uh, so that it will just be a straight piece of wood, and if you don't have a miter saw, you can definitely just use a hacksaw for this because the wood is so thin. Now I'm just going to take this frame that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to remove the frame and just use the glass, and I'm going to use my spray adhesive to add our paper on top. Okay, so because we printed this on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, of course, the paper is going to be too large because we put this on an eight by 10. So you can trim it off if you want, or you can leave it like this, like me, I'm just going to leave it alone. So now I'm going to take those paint sticks and I'm going to do that same thing using my adhesive and I'm going to add them to the top and the bottom. So now I'm just going to take my pen and I'm going to mark where I want to add my holes. I'm just eyeballing this. You can measure it out if you want. And then I'm just going to take my drill and I'm going to start to drill my holes. Just make sure that when you're drilling your holes that the hole is not going to be too large or too small and you'll be able to add your twine in there with ease. So this is what it looks like after you have drilled those holes and now all you're going to do is add your twine because why not? So literally, I'm just going to push my twine through the holes and I'm going to tie this to the sides. You can tie it to the sides or you can just glue it to the back, whatever you want to do. I feel like tying it to the sides just adds that little extra piece of character. Then you can just trim off what you don't need and you will be all finished. 
All right, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.